Hey y'all, this is Danny with Insane in the Brine. Check us out at InsaneInTheBrine.com, also on Facebook, Instagram, and lots more videos like this coming your way, so I hope you'll hit the subscribe button. Wanted to show you new pickles. Half sour pickles usually done in three or four days, at least according to my method, and uh, full sours being more like a week. Um, of course, I take those and then put them into refrigerator storage and give them more time there. But basically, you've got that classic uh, half sour flavor. Um, you know, within three or four days. New pickles, on the other hand, are closer to a cucumber. That's like a 24-hour ferment. They've just been in that salt water, so they're starting to break down and ferment a little bit. You can even see here, absolutely, ferment action is happening. You can see those little bubbles going on. This is more or less my typical uh, garlic dill recipe. Uh, lots of dill in there, lots of garlic and then a lot of mustard seeds but some of my other spices uh, I decided not to put in like uh, peppercorn and coriander and clove and so forth but I went heavy on the mustard seeds this time I was just kind of in the mood for that but anyway this you can consider a new pickle if we were to eat it right now and that's what I'm going to do just to give you a look at what that might be like I went ahead and took that out and I put the glass cover back on the jar so everything is submerged. They're going to be okay. Nothing to worry about. If you're constantly opening something that's in the midst of a ferment, that's not a great idea. But, you know, sampling along the way here and there um, for a nice salty pickle brine is not going to be the end of the world. You can sort of compare that with this has been going on um, about six and a, a little over six days. Uh, you can see here. I've got the full color change, and uh, but this um, new pickle here is going to be, I mean, my pickles are always crunchy. I have another video you should check out of my top 10 methods for keeping your pickles crunchy, but, you know, something that's only been fermenting for a day, and it was taken right out of my garden, put right into the fermentation jar, it's just going to be super crunchy, and it's going to have a good flavor too, so let's kind of check it out to compare. Alright, so you can clearly see the uh, difference here. This is one of my classic garlic dills and then, like I said, this this one is almost the exact same recipe. A lot of dill, a lot of garlic, just a little fewer spices. If you want my recipe for either of these, again, I mean you can use the exact same ingredients, same salinity, um, and come away with uh, two totally different flavors and experiences you know this one was given about a week ferment at room temperature and then as I said this one's been just about 24 hours and again if you want that half sour you can wait about three or four days and hopefully with uh, the full sour you'll still get some of that effervescence but the half sour you're really going to be getting that let's see what we get with the uh, with the new pickle all right give this a shot The effervescence hasn't built yet, not enough carbonation happening in the jar yet, but a really great clean flavor. It feels like you've just been you know, eating in a, in a deli in New York somewhere and they give you one of these, you know, with your pastrami sandwich, that kind of a thing. Let's try this big old dill. Hmm. A little more tender, juicier on the inside, a little be saltier in the center and more flavor in the center or more pickle flavor less cucumber flavor but I have to say they're both awesome uh, the younger one maybe tastes a little bit saltier because it hasn't had as much lactic acid develop from the fermentation so there's not as much sour to offset the uh, saltiness but I like it I like it a lot I could eat either one of these or both for days on end. So if you want to give pickle making a shot, the fermentation way, not the vinegar way, take a look at my website. Also my uh, online classic garlic dill recipe video is up there. And again, you can make either of these with that recipe. It's just a matter of time. All right, thanks for checking it out. Bye.